All right, my wonderful jumpers, good to have you back. We've been getting a lot of comments on our videos here, which is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for all the engagement. We really love that. What I want to help you do is unlock some of the more fun, fancier skills that are actually quite simple, but done with proper proficiency look really awesome. Some people have been commenting they want to learn the crossovers. They want to get their ropes nice and smooth, working underneath them at front and back. So we're going to break this skill down for you. You know your basic bounce step, okay? All the crossover is, is just pulling the hands across the waist just like that, all right? Sometimes we get a little tripped up because we need to figure out exactly what angles we're working with here. So first thing we're going to do is start like we usually do, rope behind the knees. We're just going to pull it over and cross the hands, okay? One more time, start behind the knees and cross, okay? From the side, bring it over and cross. Okay, so we're going to do it again and stop. What you want to look at is how far across your hands are and where the ends of the handles are. If we're not going far enough, we're always going to catch the feet because they're not creating enough space. So be mindful that you're actually trying to get your elbows to almost cross over each other. Okay, so again, keep that in mind and cross it, All right? And cross it. All right, now we're going to get real fancy. We're going to cross it and then we're going to step through the loop and we're going to pull it up and over and pull the hands apart. Okay, it's a little sloppy, but that's how we start learning. Step over it and then pull the hands up and away. Okay, from the back, or sorry, from the side, over and step over it. Pull it up, just like that. All right, so now we're just gonna try a couple. Doesn't matter if you hit yourself in the ankles or not. All you can do is try. Ready? One, two, and stop. What I'd encourage you to do is actually get used to putting one hand over, like right hand over, and also the other hand over as well, for two reasons. One, it's going to give you more chances to get in and out of the skill to the left and to the right, and it's also going to help to balance out your training. If we're constantly doing one way, we're not really helping the other side learn, and it's very important to have balance, especially in your skills when we're moving into the more flowy combos. So let's start with the bounce step. One. Again. All right. So try four bounce steps and then one crossover step. One, two, three, four, cross. One, two, three, four, cross. One, two. It happens. One, two, three, four, cross. Four, cross. One, two, three, four, cross. Good. So that time I was doing all right hand over. So now I'm going to do left hand over. One, two, three, cross. Cross. One, two, three, cross. Okay, so if you're having trouble with that, feel free. Pause that video, work on that skill. Four bounce steps, one crossover, alternating right over left, and then left over right. All right, for those of you that are a little bit more experienced, we've tried this a few times, you gotta think about how low you're keeping your hands. Sometimes we have the tendency to pull the hands up as we're crossing, and of course that's gonna pull the rope up and you're always gonna step on it. It's gonna be very difficult for you to get repeating or even a single crossover. So keep in that mind, we're gonna try Four bounce steps and four crossovers. Right over left, left over right. Ready? Here we go. Bounce step. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four, and stop. All right. From the side, looks like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, whoop, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, and stop. Okay, what you'll also notice there is that I'm always maintaining a nice tall jump posture. I'm not leaning forward or trying to duck under the rope because I'm making sure that I'm moving the rope around my body and I'm not manipulating my body to move around the rope. That way you're always going to keep control and you're going to develop really nice smooth skills here. <clears throat> so now that you've done your four bounce, your four crossovers, let's just do four crossovers and one bounce. So we only got that one bounce to recalibrate and reset. All right guys, here we go. So you start with one single bounce, four crossovers, Back to one bounce. Ready? One, one, two, three, four. Open. One, two, three, four. Open. One, two, three, four. Open. One, 
two, three, four, and stop. Oh, my brakes aren't working. <laughs> All right, if you've got that, what we're gonna try is 10 crossovers and one bounce step. Mm -hmm. And again, always going right over left, left over right, nice and smooth. Ready? Here we go. One bounce. One, two, three, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Open. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. And two, three, four. Oh! And if that happens, you start back at one. One. Oh! Uh, I tell you guys, it happens. It's not all perfect. Two, three, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Ah, brakes still aren't working. And that's how you're going to start to get better at developing a nice, smooth transition between the bounce and the crossovers. All right, this is a special treat. So we're always talking about making sure that we start safe and effective and build intensity through building up the skills. If you've been following along with our other videos, you've learned your alternating foot step, which is where we're picking the feet up just a little bit off the ground. So we're gonna add this into that little combo we just did. Four by four, start with that. Four alternating foot steps and then four crossovers. And as you can see, it's still quite an effective workout even with these two very simple skills. All right, following along. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, whoops. Again, if you mess up, that's totally fine. Start back at the beginning. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And break. All right, guys, so we're gonna stop it right there. So you've got your crossovers, you've got bounce step, and you've got some alternating foot step. Three very simple skills to help build your combos. If you haven't quite learned the bounce step or the alternating foot step, we have an awesome training series to teach you these very basic but very essential movements. The bounce step, alternating foot step, and the high knee step. All of these things are found in the video series that we've got coming out in the next little while. So stay tuned for it. Build up your skills and we're going to help you get through this and make sure you've got good, safe, effective jump rope training programs. Until then guys, I'm going to go get some fresh air. You're going to keep jumping rope and having fun. Till the next time guys.